All right, so in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can add custom fonts to your Cadence theme. So the first thing you need to know is that you will need the Cadence Custom Fonts plugin. And this is only available from the Cadence website in their premium bundle. So you'll want to make sure that you have purchased that and you will then have access to this plugin. And then you will install it and activate it. And then once you have that done, you will then have an option here in your dashboard under appearance and you'll have custom fonts available to you. Now, before we dive into that, let's talk about fonts real quick. So first and foremost, you'll need to purchase whatever font it is that you're wanting to use, but you need to make sure that you have a web font license for that particular font. So I'm not gonna dive too deep in this uh, tutorial on licensing, but you definitely want to make sure that you have the proper license to be able to use whatever font it is on your site for web use purposes, okay? Now, once you do that, you will get some files that you'll download, and this is kind of what they will look like. So, dependent on the font, sometimes they provide you both OTF and TTF files. Sometimes they just do one or the other, um, which is fine, but the main one that you need is a WOFF file. These are the files that we're going to need in order to upload this web font to our website, okay? Now, sometimes you will download these fonts, and even if you purchase the um, web font license, they will provide you a WOFF, but they don't provide you a WOFF2. And so in, if that's the case, you will need both in order to upload this to your site. Um, so if that is the case, what you can do is use a WOFF generator. And so what I typically do is I just search um, WOFF generator, and I typically use one of these two. Um, it doesn't really matter which one you do. And you'll come into here and you'll add the fonts that you want um, to this um, panel here that you need to convert into a WOFF. And typically you're going to be uploading a TTF or an OTF file, okay? And then you'll want to make sure that these two formats are selected so that it will generate that WOFF2 file for you if that wasn't provided when you purchased it. Now, once you upload them, you'll hit the convert button and then it'll automatically do it and then you will hit download and it will download those files directly for you. So just make sure that you have both a WOFF and a WOFF2 file of the web font that you are going to use, okay? All right, so once you have that done, we will go into appearance and custom fonts and we will add a new font. And up at the top, we're going to give this a name. And so in our example, we're going to be using this um, Albra font, and I'm gonna show you how you can upload two different weights, um, but with the same name so that you can choose the different weights when you're inside of the customizer um, for Cadence, okay? So we'll, we'll do both. So we're gonna do, let's do bold and we'll do regular. And so I'm gonna just kind of have these two selected and I'm just gonna hit enter on my keyboard and copy the name of this file just so I can easily just copy it and paste it into here. And I will go ahead and delete those little dashes here. So I'm just gonna do Albra display regular, okay? And then I'm gonna paste this same thing here but where it says fam, uh, font, family name, we're only going to make sure that this says the actual name of the font, not the weight or, you know, if it's an italic version or anything like that. So we just want to go ahead and remove that. And then I'm going to put in um, Albra Display Regular here. Now here is where we're going to upload our file. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Add File and I'm going to pull back up my folder here and we're going to take both of those files and go ahead and upload them. And then I'm going to select the WOFF file and go ahead and upload that. And then I'm going to choose the WOFF2 file, all right? And then I'm gonna scroll down here a little bit and under font weight, um, since this is regular, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this at 400. Um, regular fonts are typically always 400. If you have a light version of a font, then you would change this to say 300 or 200, depending on kind of the weight of the font that you're uploading. And then if you're doing a bold font, which we'll do here in a moment, then we'll probably choose 600 or 700, just dependent on the thickness of how bold that font is, okay? So you can ignore the rest of this down here, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish, okay? 
and then we're gonna do the same thing all over again and we're gonna do the bold version so I'm gonna hit add new font and I'm gonna just change this regular to bold and then on this family name I'm again gonna make sure that it just has the name of the font and it doesn't have that regular or bold at the end and then we have our font specific style name I'm gonna change this to the bold version perfect and then we will upload our files again so let me select our bold version so I'll select both of those okay and select the WOFF and the WOFF2 okay and then we'll scroll down where it has our font weight and we're gonna go ahead and change this to 700 all right and then I'm gonna hit publish all right so after you're at this point you will need to do um, a hard refresh or clear your cache or else when you go into your customizer, you won't see the way that this font actually looks. So I'm just gonna refresh my screen a couple of times. Um, I don't believe I have cash on this particular site. Um, and then I'm going to go into the customizer. So I will go to appearance and customize. Okay, and then we will go to colors and fonts and typography. And under our heading font family, I'm gonna go ahead and do this drop down, and we will now see Albra display. And when I change it over to that, we will see it automatically changes this font over for us so that we can actually see what it looks like. And then now in each of our headings, we have our H1 all the way through H6, we can change the font weight depending on each heading, right? So if we wanted our H2s, which is kind of what we're seeing here, to be more of the regular weight, we can change that to 400. Um, and then it will reflect on the front end. So, okay, those must be H3. So you can see here that it changes all of those for us. So I kind of like the way that looks over that bold look. Um, and so now we've got this awesome custom font available for us, and then we can determine the font weight that we want. So it's the same thing if we were doing um, an italic version of a font. So let me just hit publish and let's back out of here. Let's go look if you've got a italic version what you would do is do everything that I just showed you with creating that secondary font and making sure that this font family name is the actual name of the font without like bold and regular and italic and all of that stuff at the end that way you can select the one font there in the customizer and then all of the other settings that you put in here will populate under that so if you were doing an italic font, let's say you had a regular and an italic version of a font that you were uploading, you would just keep the same weight as the original one, right? So in our case, it would be 400. And then under font style, you would change this to italic if this was the italic version of that font. That way, if I am editing a page and I, you know I'm writing a blog post and I have a heading that I want to be italic, it will automatically pull the italic version of that font here, okay? So you'll want to make sure that you upload that separately. So that is how you will upload your own custom fonts using Cadence.